Alrighty, video for YouTube, and I'm just, I'm just in my bed. I, I, I just feel like I've been here in bed for, you know, an eternity, which is basically true. Um, you know, it was like just when I was getting my momentum going, then I broke my foot, and it's just been a long time. So it's basically been about a month now of, um you know, after having broken my foot. And I broke it on July 5th. So it's today, the 6th or the 7th of August. Um, uh, I am able to fit into sandals, which were a little bit oversized, but so my left foot fits into sandals and then I can use my crutches. And to a certain degree, I can kind of use my toes just a little bit but I mean I'm still taking Advil and it's it still hurts um and it still just simply is um you know I mean your your whole body is like off center and off kilter um it puts it out of symmetry and it just um I don't know. So yeah, I just got out of the bathtub uh, and soaked in hot water. Um, I figured out the how to get um, bubbles in there. It was just a big mystery to me. As to sometimes I got the jacuzzi going and sometimes I didn't. And I couldn't figure out what I was doing to make it work. Well, now I realized there's some sort of like, it's almost... Or I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a wave your hand over it or if it's actually, it's probably, I don't know. You can barely, it's not really a push button. It's like magic. <laughs> I don't know. But I kind of know that you can sort of put your, your foot kind of over it, this little space underneath where the faucet is. Because I had been, you know, I, I got it to work sometimes and I thought it was, um, I thought it was the thing that opened and opened and closed the drain. I thought that maybe if you like clicked it like one more click, but then that's not really, it doesn't really do it that way. If you, and I thought maybe if you pull it or push it, it doesn't, that doesn't happen. And I said, I don't know, but occasionally accidentally I got it to work. But anyways, sort of ma the magic I knew today you know, I, I wasn't actively trying anything. I was just simply, you know, just laying there in, in hot water. And then I picked up my foot. The water was still coming in. So I picked up my foot to see if it was still hot water coming in or if it had turned cold. And when I put my foot into, into the water stream, that's when the bubble started. So, um, I don't know. It's just sort of, <laughs> this is, it's just very odd. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's just been, um, it's just been hard to really do anything. Um, I managed to get some dishes washed. Um, I did go out towards the pool with the dog. Um, the pool, the, the dog tends to like to step on my left foot. I don't know how she can manage to find pretty much the exact, you know, problem area, um, to step on. Um, but you know, she definitely wants to see me and she just, you know, she's a people person like dogs are. Um, so, um, but you know, I, I didn't, and I know this was controversial on YouTube, but, um, I, I do ultimately want to get her back in the water. She is afraid of a lot of things. She's afraid of going in the car. Um, well, she barks for things. I don't know if that means that she's afraid. Um, she was afraid of fireworks when there was the 4th of July. Um, and she's afraid and she's kind of afraid of the water. Um, but you know, she needs to become a big girl, you know? So, I mean, I think that I need to lead her in certain directions 
And for instance, the vet was telling me ways to get her more familiar with the car, you know, to get her to like the car a little bit better. I haven't been, I have not been able to, um, to try out those methods to things like put the hatch back up and let her play in the car, kind of like with somewhat of a long leash that she kind of has to hang out with the car stopped. Um, and then do like short drives around the neighborhood and you know, all this stuff that you have to do for a dog. Um, and you know, but so many things just simply, um, took a different path once I broke my foot. I mean, just basically, um, basically whatever was going to happen. I mean, I think that initially I thought that Charlotte was going to be an indoor dog. Um, but I mean, I, I was having, definitely, I definitely was having issues with that as far as her biting and things, as far as her, um, as far as me not having her trained, um, potty trained and things. Um, you know, I was planning on working on those issues and planning on solving those issues. And I had bought a cage for indoors and that started to solve the potty training issues. Um, and that was solving the biting issues for nighttime anyway. Um, and there was going to be a class on biting, but I never made it to that class because of my foot. Um, but the way that life has taken its course with this foot being so, such a long, long, long ordeal, um, it's just really turned out that I think for the lifespan, pretty much, of Charlotte, she's going to basically be an outdoor dog. Um, I can bring her inside in the winter at times but I think I, I think that uh, basically what I've kind of decided because of well the the honest answer is because shoes um, were no longer being destroyed, you know, in other words, when she went outdoors, um, then suddenly shoes stopped being destroyed, pee and poop stopped being, you know, all over the floor, um, you know, I, I didn't have to have a mop, you know, and a bucket and cleaning supplies, like, out you know, all the time. Um, I didn't have to have band-aids ready to patch up people that came over the house, like my father, for instance. Um, and, um, basically I liked it. So, um, in the winter, um, I was kind of thinking in terms of, well, maybe like gating off the furthest back section where the TV is, but that would mean that she would be playing with shoes and possibly pooping and peeing, maybe, possibly, I don't know. I don't know if by that time she could figure out to you know, indicate when she needs to go out. Um, but I might instead just have a extra large cage for those, um, nights. She can possibly, she can possibly be out during winter days. Um, Okay, I don't know. Oh, it's about a 10-minute video. Um, 
I usually go on and on and on, but I, I'm thinking this is kind of, this is kind of good enough. Okay, bye-bye.